there plant friends this is Steve coming to you from our studio here in Tampa Florida I've drugged this ficus lorata in from our land of misfit plants and I want to warn you that this is not uh, production ready by any means um, but an old plant we've had out in the greenhouse for a while and I'm here to demonstrate a couple of pruning techniques we are nearing the sale of our 3,000th ficus lorata so uh, somewhere along the last four or five years we've shipped out nearly 3,000 of these guys across the country and now we're getting a few questions about how to prune them because like you maybe you bought this to fit in your window and it looks like it's gotten a little bit oversized for the window so we're going to give it a little bit of a prune job now I will tell you that prior to pruning you want to make sure you got plenty of light to re regenerate the growth and it's going to require additional nutrition uh, to push the growth out. Um, it's going to need uh, extra nutrients uh, to push fresh growth. So um, light and nutrition, uh, make sure you get some foliage pro before you start uh, a pruning regimen. So before you start pruning, it's important to know the difference between a node and an inner node on the plant stem. The node is where the leaf attaches to the stem, so right there. The space between the leaves is the inner node. Okay, so the important thing about pruning, nice set of bypass pruners, you want to make a pruning cut right above the node. Right there. And if you're indoors and doing this over carpet or something you care about, it might be important to have some kind of uh, paper towel or something uh, to dab off the ficus sap. After it all, it is a rubber plant at heart and it likes to exude that rubbery substance. So that cut right there, you can see it's right above the node. What's going to happen is it's going to force growth. That node is going to develop a bud and the bud is going to flush out new growth right from that crease where this leaf is attaching to the stem. So I'm going to do a couple more pruning cuts here. I'm going to try to get this guy to fit in our window again. Again, I got right above right above the leaf right there where it attaches to the stem. I'm going to do it, cut it at a slight angle. There. Again, it's probably going to bleed a little bit. I'll touch it up. Just got around. Let's do another pruning cut here. Give it some decent shape. So again, right above where the leaf attaches to the stem. Lopping that off. Cleaning her up. And I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. So you can see a prior pruning cut on this one. It was cut right there. And this emerged as a new stem. I don't like the shape of that. So I'm going to give it one more pruning cut down here. And then this guy, I'm going to cut it right there. Now, not the most attractive plant in the world, um, but if you've got good light and you're watering it correctly and give it enough nutrition, you'll get some new growth right from these spots and it'll fill in uh, within, I'd say eight weeks, you have a good looking tree again. Um, but we don't let, recommend you let it get as far as this one was. This one was you know, three feet taller than the window. Uh, you wanna do a little pruning along the way and if you can, prune them like if this one's tall, prune this, walk away from it, let this bud out, come back and prune another one a couple of months later. So you don't have to prune the whole thing at one time, like I just kind of did a hack job on this guy. But um, if, uh, if we let this alone and gave it enough water, light, and nutrition, um, we'll have one heck of a plant in uh, just uh, about two or three months. So maybe we'll cut back and uh, do some pictures of this um, as, it, uh, as it comes back and develops new leaves. Thanks. Hope you're all having a great day and you learned something about pruning ficus lorata.